Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up, people? So we had the opportunity to watch all five episodes of The Missing Stone. We also asked you guys, when we looked at the trailer, to give us your theories on what happened in the show. Who did it? Who, who, who did done it? it? Who done it? We have selected some comments from that trailer reaction to read out. After that, we'll discuss our feelings about the show and let you guys know whether or not we think you should check it out. Here are some comments. This one is from Rachita Goel. My theory, Barun is imagining the whole thing because of some mental trauma he suffered. Now, I think that was a very original theory because I hadn't even thought about that and that's kind of like really out there right. and I like it quite a lot. This is from Lochit. What if Pyle never existed? She was just a fragment of her imagination and now she came to her senses but doesn't realize it or everyone is her imagination. It probably be because I watched Fight Club. <laughs> so, I was like so probably, confused. That kind of thing has happened in that, those kinds of movies more than once. There's the one, I think it's called Identity with John Cusack. It's inside someone's head. It's all happening inside someone's head. Right. And then a Fight Club, of course. That is a thing that you know I've seen in, in shows and in movies where it's all in your imagination. This is from Komal. My theory is that the elder sister is the culprit here. She has killed Pyle with a stone because she found out that her husband had something to do with Pyle. Now she is acting all innocent and framing Pyle's BF for her wrongdoings. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Venicopal, my theory. I think there will be a new character we're not seeing in this trailer and they might be the reason behind her missing and I think she is not killed. You know what, there were quite a few people who also suggested that theory. That's interesting, but you will have to watch the show to see if you're right, because we're not gonna tell you. Avanish. I think she's killed by someone not in the trailer by the missing stone. Told ya. Ravi, Jabby has invited Pyle on the channel and they've both been reacting to Indian videos whole week and now she's Jabby's ex <laughs> I just like that one because it's so ridiculous. Lochit, or the main girl could be the kidnapper herself and faked a, al oh, she's, she's watched Gone Baby. So, um, Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Yes, that one. Swarup, but uh, I feel like it's an elaborate prank. Again, the game starring Sean Penn and Michael Douglas. Have you seen that one? Yeah, Sarthuk. Maybe Pyle has set this up with her lover to take some kind of revenge on her sister and kill her with the missing stone. Oh. Shivangi, the stone house feels like a haunted house. I feel there will be some supernatural intervention in the show too. P.S. Your reactions are awesome. I so definitely felt that vibe too. Yeah, I mean, it was unclear from the trailer whether or not there was a supernatural element. Samreen, maybe the sister did it. She may be killed. Well, a lot of people. Yeah, are, uh, a lot of people are, are like. that guess. A lot of people are guessing that the sisters are like well, not getting along. You know what I mean? Maybe there's a lot of Indian sisters who just hate each other. Secretly yeah. want to kill their sister. Like, what's happening here? Ayush, wild guess, the husband had affair with her sister-in-law. He messed up but didn't do anything wrong to her. It was her own sister revenging or something like that and putting blame on her husband. Once again, it's the sister. Everyone's like, the sister did it. The sister did it. Like, what's going on? Niraj, the, that caretaker house help seems shady enough to me. <laughs> Could be the one pretty much who has done it and is trying to hide his tracks by playing innocent, obviously. Ha 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 ha. Amit, OMG's show with Maroon. Best Christmas gift MX player. My theory is that I think the missing girl's boyfriend is playing tricks and he is killed in a hidden pile under the missing stone because he likes the elder sister and is jealous of Maroon. Oh. That's very I like that thing about like hiding her under the missing stone. Yeah. Rohini, I feel it's got something to do with the stone. Probably some supernatural powers in it which led to the girl going missing. It has I something to do it. with the I stone. I love it. I love it. The, the, the stone. The stone like opened up a portal or something and then she just disappeared because of the stone. I gotcha. Don't know. Just the first line just kind of threw me for a second. I feel like it's got something to do with the stone. Like, what would give that away? The title? <laughs> yeah. The supernatural thing is something I was unsure about in watching the trailer. You guys came up with some really great theories. I yeah. will say some of you were closer than others and some of you were way off, but everyone gave an interesting theory. Just to reiterate, this is from IMDb. This five episodic series is a story of a happily married couple, Dwani and Sahir, with Diwani's birthday just around the corner, she's expecting the usual surprise from her younger sister, Pyle, who plans something elaborate each year. This year, Pyle has organized a weekend getaway at a resort, but this surprise soon turns into shock when Pyle does not arrive at the resort. The world stops for Diwani when she realizes her sister is missing, or worse, she may be dead. The romantic birthday getaway soon becomes a trap for Diwani, where she's left putting together the clues of the puzzles that will help her find the truth about Pyle. That's a very, very good summary of what happens over the course of the five episodes. The show does a good job of creating cliffhangers, because at the end of the first one, and Charles like, next, next, next. I'm like, okay, <laughs> calm down, ho, calm down. I just we'll get there. To know. I just needed to know. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, the, yeah, like you said, they did a really great job with that. And every time, I was like. I think is this person. Yeah. But then in, in an episode, one person would be acting really suspiciously and then I go, oh wait, 
No, maybe it's this person. No, maybe it's that person. And then by the end, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The show does a little bit of what I guess I could only call like a Hitchcock approach, which is it sort of leads in slow at first, where you're not, you're not really sure what exactly is happening, where exactly it's going. And then it sort of hooks you when you realize what's at stake, what the characters are after, or at least the main character, what she's after and what she's about over the course of the five episodes. By that point, they hit, they hit you with a cliffhanger and you're like, okay, now I gotta see what happens next. And they sort of do that at the end of each episode, which is great because then it compels you to keep going and it's very binge worthy. I think this show is actually really great to watch if you are that type of person that enjoys this kind of mystery story and you're into that, that sort of intrigue, like slightly soap opera. It certainly has that element, it has that feel to it in terms of the acting and whatnot. It does have that um, soap opera feeling, yeah. I just think it's entertaining overall. You get that sense of mystery and trying to figure things out and putting the clues together. I was wrong. I didn't see it coming. It's hard to say what I want to say without giving away the whole ending yeah. of the show. Yeah, like I wanna, I wanna say more, but I'm yeah. also like, I feel like you guys need to watch it and then you can kind of nope. make your own decisions, but yeah. We, we can't really say much more <laughs> because then we'd just be giving it all away. So you guys, The Missing Stone is out now on MX Player. It came out December 25th, so if you guys watch it, please let, let us know in the comments how you like the show, if it was who you expected it was, and please try to keep the comments of this particular video spoiler free for those who haven't uh, watched the show yet. So that's it for now, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, I am Jabby Kuei. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.